Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. Today I have all of the Christmas decorating ideas and inspiration here for you. If you think it's too early, it's not. Now is the time to start thinking about how you want to decorate your home this season. I have so much fun in store for you in our new home, but here's a look back at how I decorated last year. I hope you enjoy this decorating marathon and let me know what you are looking forward to this year. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to let's just do a little bit of Christmas prep. I'm going to show you my new Christmas tree. And I did this on Halloween night. I couldn't resist. I just wanted to get the tree up. And clearly, I have bad lighting. So I probably won't be recording any more videos at nighttime. But I just wanted to go ahead and get it up, get it fluffed. And I'm also going to show you some of the items that I picked up for the holidays this year. I'm really not spending a lot of money. I'm not trying to add a lot. I actually already have a lot. But I just figured let's go ahead and get started with decorating for the season by at least putting up my first Christmas tree. If you watched my Home Depot shop with me, this was the tree that I was leaning towards getting and this is the tree that I fell in love with. So I did go and get this tree. I didn't want to wait to see if it went on sale because I've shopped Home Depot trees before and honestly they don't go and sell until Black Friday and I couldn't wait that long. So I love this tree. It is the perfect size and stature for this space. It's not too large. It doesn't overcome anything and I just love how it's so slim, but it's not a pencil tree. And I'm just showing you how I fluff it out. Now, honestly, I don't fluff nearly as much as I should. I just, I get lazy and I get tired. I know that about myself, but I love the look of this tree. And then when we move into a larger house, then this will go in our bedroom because I just love how compact it is. Now here it is during the daytime, a little bit more fluffed and I, I'm just in love with it. I've been turning on the lights every single night and I just wanted to show you a little bit of the detail. So it does have those typical faux branches on the inside and then it has more of the realistic touch on the outside. Here I'm just showing you some of the different modes and features of the lighting. I prefer just the simple clear lights, um, especially with, with an LED tree. If it was a incandescent lighting, which they don't normally make anymore, not often anyways, then I would love the multicolor. But I also wanted to show a few things that I picked up from Target. So I got this wreath. This is from Threshold. And honestly, I have been really loving the cypress stems lately. And so I got this wreath as well as some of these stems from hearth in hand and i really did want to get a cypress garland i just can't justify spending the money on the garland though because i did you know i spent the money on the tree so i'll be using my norfolk pine garland that i already have but i really did want cypress garland but i'm just showing you the different stems and this one is very large i will have everything linked below um, but I wanted to show you the difference in the sizes. So this actually comes in three sizes and I have two of them. And then I figured I'd show you how I'm going to go ahead and use them. I already knew when I saw them that this is how I wanted them in this also from Hearth and Hand um, little vase here. Now this vase comes in two sizes. This is the smaller of the two. And I started off with just using three, but then I ended up adding a fourth one. Um, I took all of the stems out and changed how I had them folded so that I could actually use all four and I love how it turned out. So I just wanted to show you all of that. And then by the way, since I'm, you know, I've just been talking, my name is Aria. If, <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Aria. I love home decorating and seasonal decor. I am a blogger and I decided to start a YouTube channel this year. So this is my first Christmas season decorating with you on YouTube, which is way different from just decorating and then taking pictures and writing about it on my blog. But 
it's a challenge that I've enjoyed undertaking. So I would love it if you like this video and subscribe. And I hope that you stick around because I have so much more to share with you. I just picked up this bell from Kirkland's and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here or not but I thought this would be a nice option to see how I like it. Now I also figured let me show you what else I picked up. So I got this ceramic tree from Target. It is from the Wonder Shop. My Wonder Shops are very very unstocked so I'm hoping that soon they become stocked because there's hardly anything in there. But then I did see this dear candle holder that I just thought was too cute to just leave behind. Wasn't sure if I was going to really use them with candlesticks or not, but I did get these green candlesticks that I shared from my world market shop with me and I just love them. So I do plan to use them specifically in the candle holders that are on my mantle, but I might use them here too, or I might get different candles for this particular item or I might not put any candles in them at all, but this is what he looks like with the candlesticks. And of course, I could not leave this Nutcracker mug in the store. I, this, I love it. I love Nutcrackers, by the way, and I barely drink coffee at home anymore, but I will be using this this holiday season for sure. And I got these deer from at home. Um, I was debating on getting the smaller ones that are from Target and I still might but these are very affordable options and they are a little bit more larger so I think I might use these on my mantle as well. I also picked up ribbon so I got this ribbon from Michaels. I'm not 100% sure what really I want to do I just know that I want to incorporate more green into my Christmas decor so a lot of the times when I've been seeing inspiration for using green ribbon, it's been on a flock tree. So I just wanted to put this up here to see if it would stand out at all. We'll see, um, I have the receipts just in case. And I got more than this, you know, each roll. I got several of them, but just to see. And then I got some more picks because I wanna do kind of green and gold. And I already have other gold picks, but I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. And then I also picked up these berries picks. I have several of these from years in past as well, but I plan on using these on my dining room tree this year instead of my main tree. Last but not least, I wanted to show you how I styled these stems or how you can style them. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you just put the stem in by itself. You see it's very, very tall. So bending your stems, don't cut them, bend them. Um, and then you can use them in different ways. And I just wanted to show you what they would look like in both of these vases which are both from hearth and hand i'll have everything linked down below that can be linked and i just wanted to show you what it looks like so i decided that i'm going to use them in the larger vase and then i will probably use berries in the smaller one and i might actually group them together just for a layered effect the last thing that i also wanted to share is that i did get a couple more items from kirkland's that i also included in my kirkland shop with me so you're going to see that in just a second. So I wanted to share those as well. Again, everything will be linked, but I just wanted to show you what this face looks like when it's not up against the tree so you can really see. And I took the tags off because I am keeping them. <laughs> but I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Stay tuned for more because Christmas decorating is in full effect. I have so much that I want to share with you. So 
Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Well, I'm all for Christmas. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some Christmas decorating and we're gonna start with my garland on my mantle. Now, this is the Norfolk Pine garland from Kirkland's. Is it sold out right now? Yes. Does it come back in stock? Yes. Do you have to be on top of things to grab it? Yes again. So just be on the alert because it's a really, really good garland. It's very popular. Um, but the garland look that I'm going for this year is I want to do this like asymmetrical. I want it to swoop. I want it to get really heavy on the side. I really wish I had a bigger mantle, but we're going to do the best that we can. And you're going to just see me go through this process. I definitely recommend using zip ties. You definitely need those when you're decorating for Christmas, but I'm going to do a lot less talking and a lot more showing. Before I let you go, my name is Aria. I am so happy that you're here. I love to decorate for the holidays and all seasons. And if you wanna see content like that from a regular house like mine, then keep on watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'd love to have you here. Okay, so what I want to show you is kind of how I was thinking this through. Um, so the good thing about these garlands are that they are malleable. Malleable. I think the word is malleable, which basically means you can bend them and you can shape them to how you want. The thing I don't love is that this section right here is so thick. So I have to figure out how I'm going to hide that. But basically, here's what I used. You saw I used four of the garlands. I have one more left. So here's where all my stuff is. So I have one more left that I'm not gonna use on the mantle because honestly, my mantle is not very deep. So it doesn't, it can't hold but so much. I have three of these larger command hooks. These hold, I think five pounds each. I'm not actually layering a lot of stuff onto my mantle. So I don't have to worry about it trying to hold extra weight. And then I added another one here so that I can have a little bit fuller here. And then like this is going to come over once everything is done. And then what you saw is that I used zip ties. Zip ties are definitely a must when it comes to Christmas decorating. And so it's, in order to make these work, I have this zip tie here. I'm going to cut them when I'm done. And then I'm going to shape over here. And I think, did I put a zip tie over here? I think I did here and then here. So that is how the mantle is looking so far. problem that I'm running into is that those command hooks is actually pretty long so it's taking up some of the space that I would use to place my candlestick holders so I'm running out of space for them on this side without trying to move the mirror which I really don't want to do unless I choose to put that wreath up there but we're going to work with this for now this is I mean it's up there it's not going to fall it's just that I like them to be a little bit closer together and I can't get them there <laughs> As of now, I just kind of have those bells on one of those hooks, but I'm probably going to have to add another hook just because I don't want it so far away from the garland. I kind of want it nestled in, like right where that break happens. So we're going to fix that, but we're going to move on for now. You and me in the cold thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas. I don't know. So doing ribbon is one of those things for me that is sometimes intimidating. Sometimes I feel like it's not worth the hassle. Um, I like the gold. 
I'm not so sure if I really like the green. Um, I'm not sure. Part of me wants to just ditch the green and just stick with the gold because I feel like the gold pops and I have a lot of gold picks that will pop as well. And I feel like the green is just gonna get lost. So that's a tip. When you're buying ribbon, buy enough um, or at least more than you think you might need. I only bought three spools, which technically for a tree of this size, I think would be okay because it's not a very large tree. Um, it has the height, but it doesn't have the width. So I would suggest always making sure you buy more than what you need. Keep your receipt, return it. So don't open up all your ribbons at once. Open up one spool each and see how you like it. And if you like it, great, go ahead and continue. If you don't, pack the ones that you didn't open up and return them, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Although I love this ribbon itself, so I might find another way to use it. I have no idea how, but I just don't think the green is working for me. But that's part of the fun of decorating. And honestly, I think this would really look good on a flocked tree. I'm not gonna use it on my flock. Well, I might. I say that I won't. I might, we'll see. I'm probably gonna put that up tomorrow and I'm gonna try not to wear red or black or anything that I wanna keep looking cute. Um, it is only 1.30, but it is looking really dark. I don't know if we're about to get a storm or have not looked at the weather, but I'm gonna just keep trucking along. Um, I like to do all this with the tree lit. It just, it gives me a better idea. So I'm going to, I only got two spools of that ribbon, the, the gold ribbon. And I think that I like this idea that I showed a second ago where I just, I just kind of have it, I took it, I tied, I kind of looped it. I don't have any floral wire or anything like that, um, but I just looped it and it's just gonna come out in like little, I might do both. I might do a mix of both. You know, that's the thing about decorating a Christmas tree. It is a winging it situation. I am not a professional decorator when it comes to things like this. I just do what I like. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll see where we go from there. I normally say spread out picks, but these are so messy, I'm not spreading out a thing. And I have more different types of picks that I have from last year, but I bought these this year. I thought about adding berry picks because I'm, that's what I'm used to doing, but I realized I didn't like the look so much and I just wanted to work with the gold and like let that be the accent. So this is the next morning and I added a few more of the picks. I do still have more ribbon to add and a few more picks to add, but for now I just kind of want to get things a little bit more together. Um, you're not going to see everything finished in this video because I did order a couple of things from Amazon that have not arrived yet. They're supposed to be out today, but for now I'm going to move on to my pillows and I do like to use pillow covers. I've mentioned that before. And I like to use the inserts that I already have, which are mostly from Kirkland's and Home Goods because they already are feather filled. These velvet green pillows are from Pottery Barn. They're still available, so I will link them below. And the plaid ones are from Kirkland's, also available, I'll link them below. I have more pillows, but they're in other boxes. Now this velvet pillow is from World Market. I think it's still available, so I will link that. And then I added this tree pillow from Target this year. And then you'll see that I have a matching throw blanket here, also from Target. My daughter was complaining about not having enough fluffy, like fluffy type of um, blankets. And so when I saw this, it was so soft. And I was like, okay, this is gonna answer her prayer. But this is just a quick look at everything. I am going to get this video up and work on more because I, 
want to work with my dining room tree next. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and being here today. I will see you in my next video. And if there's anything that you need a link for, check the description box. Okay. Have a good one. I like to share home decor and seasonal decor with you here on my YouTube channel. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe. We have so much in store coming up soon. So today I'm going to show you how I'm decorating my flocked tree, which is in my dining room. It's a simple pencil tree and I really just love having this tree in my dining room. It just makes such a statement to me and I'm going to show you in addition to this tree, some of the ways that I'm going to decorate in other areas and a little bit of update from what I've done last year. So I will say to start off with lots of picks and I think picks just elevate your trees so much. So I have these snowy frosted kind of capped pine cone picks and then I have some berry picks. These are all from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to use the green ribbon that I thought I would use on my main tree. Instead, I'm going to use it here on my flock tree, and I really like how it turned out. And my heart's going boom, boom, boom. You're so beautiful. Can you feel it too? Girl, I won't let you go. When the sky comes alive, let's have a jolly. So it is the following weekend because, you know, it is winter pretty much. The time change means I can't come up here and, you know, decorate when I get off work. So I wanted to show you a little bit of what I have done in between then and now, all in the same video. So um, let's see. So I closed that window just so you can see a little bit more of the detail without the light blinding. I added a little bit more ribbon, a little bit more picks. I still don't know at this point what I want to do for a topper. If I want to do a topper, do I want to just do a bunch of picks as topper? Um, I also haven't decided if I want to add ornaments. I personally like how it looks as it is. My daughter wants me to add ornaments, so I'm not sure. And then one thing I always do since I do the flock tree here, I add this flocked garland over the top of my um, windows. I keep the command hooks up there. Call it ghetto if you want. I don't really care um, <laughs> because, you know. Uh, so these are from Walmart. It's one nine foot garland. They still may have it available. I know they have the one that has the pine cones attached to it available. Whatever one, if it's this one or the other one or both, I'll link them down below. Um, and I added a few berry picks. I'm not done. I'm going to add more and I add a set of string lights so that I can set them on a timer. So I have them set to come on at five o'clock and they go off about six hours later. I will not keep these berries here. I just wanted to see if that looked right. Um, I forgot to take them down before I started recording and I probably will not keep this basket here. I'll probably put a piece of artwork here instead. But before I move on, let me show you some of what I've done between the time I saw you last. So I, did hide the bells, but I think I hid them too much. I might end up bringing them back out. Um, I still haven't cut off the zip ties, but I did hang the wreath here and I love it here. I absolutely love it here. The So here's what I was thinking. I think, I don't remember if I said this in my last video, but I was debating taking one more strand of the garland and having it go the opposite direction to kind of cover that there. And it just, it was too bulky and it didn't look right. So my garland is from Kirkland's. The one from Kirkland's, I believe is sold out. The one from A Floral is sold out. They also sell like stems and they're sold out. <laughs> I did find a website that had them, but then I was like, it was gonna be $30 plus shipping for me just to buy two stems. And I was like, is it that serious, Aria? 
And the answer is no, it's not. I don't need to spend money on two stems because in the future, do I even want to use this type of garland again? Will I use that in an arrangement? I don't know. And so I just didn't feel it necessary for me. If I ever just come across it, great. But if not, I'm not going to go out of my way to go spend that and then it not be here for a couple weeks anyway. So that's the update on what I've done so far. Now let's get into decorating some more. These are not all of the bins that I have, but these are some of the bins that are of my smaller items. Um, and then over here, you can see I do have, I have some wreaths, I have more garland in that one. This is my nutcracker bin. So in this bin, I have nutcrackers along with a few other small items. I love this tree. This is from World Market I shared in my World Market um, Shop With Me video. I have all kinds of things. Whatever this is, it's heavy. Oh, and then these trees, Target didn't bring them back this year. They brought a similar version, but they're not glass like this. So I love these so much. But the rest of this um, is a nutcracker storage. One of the things that I suggest is that you get your storage for Christmas stuff, go ahead and buy that stuff now. Um, I will link this, I think this particular one, I think I got from Michaels, but I did see similar from Amazon, I believe. Um, but, so I have a good amount of nutcrackers. I normally buy the ones from Target um, that they have the year on them each year. I have a couple of small ones too. But for example, this one was from 2020 um, and I like to buy a new one every year. These were always $10, see, they're always $10. They're $12 this year, unfortunately, but I do try to get the ones that, and this can open more if you want it to open more, but I do try to get the ones that are of color, but I have all kinds because, you know, but yeah, I mean, I have 2016. So anyway, this I do highly recommend. And I will link it below in case you're interested, as well as some of the other Christmas storage things, because I have a blog post all about storage ideas for holiday decor. But I think Target switched up a lot of those links. So I need to um, go in and change to update that anyway. So this is my reminder, my be saying it out loud. It's my reminder to go do that. Let's see, speaking of storage, I don't even know what's in this one. But this is another one of those things. I think I got this from Amazon last year. And I have all kinds of things in here. Signs, I have blankets, a big gingerbread house, trees. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do the gingerbread this year though. I'm not sure. I probably still will pull out my tartan plaid and my Stuart plaid because I love that. So. This beautiful tree I got from Big Lots last year. Plaids. Another deer. Oh. Okay. Let me go in and get some of these things out. So. Uh, a tree skirt. I'm not using that this year. So, Target has a version of this this year. Um, there's, so this one, it would be considered, it says just $20, but I think this year, the, the biggest one doesn't even get this big. Um, if there was like small, medium, large, I would call this the large, and the one that they're calling medium this year, that they're calling large, and then there's a small one, which they're all pretty, and was I tempted to get one again this year? Yes, but I was like, Aria, you don't need it. <laughs> Love my Nutcracker Man. I need to keep that out because I keep all of my things out now. I have them like in a storage space. I think, is this more? This might be more small. 
tray decor, here tray. Yeah, I don't think I need anything out of here for now. I probably just had this in here because it could go in there easily. I still will use this this year. I just don't know where. I haven't figured that out. And of course my red berries. Let's see. These red bins make it so easy to know that stuff is Christmas, but I still have older bins that I don't know. So I have my trees. I always keep my Christmas pictures. I have more houses. This star, I don't even know, I can't see myself in the camera. So this star is the one that I used last year on top of my flock tree. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I have deer, I have lots of, I have, can you see in here? You can see I have more, let's not look at my feet, but you can see I have more berry trees. I have some of these red houses. My stockings are under here. So yeah, I have lots of things. I don't know if I wanna use the red houses this year or not. I am trying to do more green. These are pillow covers that I don't know why I kept them in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these particular ones again this year. Um, I had a gift card for a Pottery Barn. I'll probably show that in my next video, but I did order um, some of their pillow covers since I had that gift card. Um, okay, so I don't know if this will be stuff that I use on my, in my dining room area though. So maybe not pull this out yet. love this sign here's the thing you can find art like this at Hobby Lobby but you have to get there whenever they put out the Christmas decor in what July and you have to be willing to pay full price for it sometimes you can find it when it goes to 50% off but this, the good stuff goes really quickly I have actually gotten a lot of good black art whether it's very rare like this to see at Hobby Lobby with Nativity. Of course, you can find more Santa stuff there. Um, but yeah, definitely do not think that Hobby Lobby doesn't have it. They have it. They do not create it in the in the abundance that they create everything else. But they do have it. I absolutely love this. And I, oh, I can't wait to put this up. I love this sign. I got this last year. Okay, and that's just a regular sign. Okay, we got to come up with a plan. Can you tell that I have no plan? I'm just winging this. This is one of my first Christmas bins that I had, um, sorry, when I started decorating at all, I only had this one bin. Um, we've come a long way. My husband probably wishes that we went back to that. But, um, so I have my black Santa flag. Let's see what else I got here. I'm gonna have to do some vacuuming for sure. I have some of these stems, now this, I got this from Target a few years ago, and I did see that they have something very similar. Just a few picks, very heavily flocked, really pretty, nicer than what you'd see at Hobby Lobby, in my opinion, but they're in the Wonder Shop. I did see them again this year. Um, let's see, this is from Target as well, so I have a few of those. Okay. One of these, like, candles that don't really work. Well, it's not a candle, it's like a lid, something. Spot signs. Okay, okay. Let's just come up with a plan. Before I get started too far, let me just show you a few of the things that I've already put up here. Some of these things you may not have seen yet, unless you follow me on my other social platforms like TikTok, Instagram, um, LTK, my Facebook page. I would say my blog, but my poor blog. She's been a little neglected lately. Um, but you definitely want to follow me there too because. Blogging is my first love, that's what I do. Anyway, so these are houses that I just pulled out. These are from Hobby Lobby, these three. They usually come out with a few each year. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they make a little bit of a variation. But I think they're so beautiful and classic and just white. Um, what I will say, be careful of what you put it next to because this one's got smushed up and the way that this ceramic is, like, I don't want to try to, I don't want to mess it up trying to clean it, so. I have a couple of these houses from Target. 
I have them, clearly I have a lot of them, so I have some of the black rooftop, I have some of the white glitter, gold, snowy, I have some of those red ones that you saw. These are still available on their website. I will link them for you. The ones that they bring in the store this year are different. So they do have red like the ones that I showed you. Let me get those real quick. So they do have red ones like this. Um, I think those are online if, I, if I'm not mistaken. The ones in store now that are red don't have the white snow caps. They're just red with a different variation of a red top. I don't love them as much, but you still get the same effect. As you can see, I have a thing for the gold deer. <laughs> um, these I got from Big Lots. They have a larger version as well. These are very similar to the ones from Pottery Barn. So it's a good Pottery Barn dupe. There's also a black set that I've seen a lot of people talk about that are at Aldi that are a great Pottery Barn dupe for the black version of the reindeer. I really like the gold. I don't really like a lot of black in my Christmas decor. I understand why people do, but it's just not for me. Um, but I got these two. Like I said, the bigger one, I just, I thought it was gonna be too big for where I thought about using it. So I do have those, I love those. They're so uh, stately, I don't know if that's the word, regal. These I have from a year or so ago. These are from Kirkland's. I never take tags off. I was trying to see if they had a year, like the way Hobby Lobby does, but I don't have a year up there. But these are from Kirkland's. I got this this year. This is from Target Dollar Shop, but I feel like I shared this. I shared these in my, a couple of videos ago. Same thing with this tree. This is from Kirkland's. I shared that already as well. And then this is from Target this year. Target almost always has a couple of deer that they put out. This is from the Threshold line. I took the tag off already. Um, and I like this one. I think he's overpriced. But I will say that um, I liked the one from like the year or so before more. And by the time that I wanted to get them, of course they were gone, which is why I ended up getting these. But enough talking, let's get on to some decorating. I think we're gonna start with my bookshelf. for my shelves so far. This is always subject to change, but I love how it turned out. I just used a few of the items that I've always used. Um, for example, I got this nativity set from Hobby Lobby last year, I believe, and I just absolutely love it. The Christmas sign, the Christmas prayer sign is also from Hobby Lobby. I think they still have that this year. And then I put that little gold deer next to it. On the top, I have this uh, flock tree that I got from Target last year from the Studio McGee line. I also have a larger version of it. And then I have this for Unto Us a Savior is Born sign, which is also from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added this little arrangement. I probably switch out something here because I think it's a little bit too much white. I need something else. I just haven't figured out what that is. And then I have my nutcrackers that normally flank my fireplace. I got these from Sam's Club a year or so ago, but I decided to put them over here this year, and then they'll help me to bring in a little bit of color someplace, somewhere. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. I will be sharing a lot more, so make sure to see me when I... Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aria. I love to share seasonal to home decor and 
decorating finds with you here on my channel. So I hope that you find this video helpful, inspirational, and that you like it and subscribe. Today, I'm just going to share a few more of ways that I'm decorating my dining room. One way that I like to decorate that's an easy, affordable option is to take a couple of stems. These stems came from Hobby Lobby that I'm showing you here. Tie them together with a zip tie and put a little bow or some ribbon in the middle and just put it on top of your artwork or your doors. It's just an easy, affordable way and it just makes such a big pop. So I'm gonna just show you a few things that I'm doing in my dining room today. We're gonna to be styling my shelves in a few minutes, but I hope that you find this video helpful. This white picture is a mainstay on my shelves. It's from Hobby Lobby. I still think they have it. And I just decided to add a couple of picks. These normally I would use in my tree, but I didn't use those this year, my main tree. So I figured just put them in here and have a little bit of a floral arrangement. Styling my shelves is always interesting. You never know how it's gonna come out. You have an idea, you don't have an idea, but you know what you want it to look like. It's just a trial and error, but it's fun, but interesting <laughs> yes from this christmas song, this christmas song, from this christmas song, it's gonna be you and me decorate say thank you so much for joining me today there are so many wonderful creators and christmas videos to watch and i'm so glad that you stumbled upon mine or came across mine it means so much to me each time that somebody leaves me a comment or they like or they share my video this is my first season on youtube so it is definitely a lot of learning um, but i just appreciate you so much for being here today
so much again for joining me today i hope that you found this video helpful got some good ideas i will be seeing you in my next one we have so much more coming so much decorating is happening this weekend so i hope that you come back make sure you subscribe and i will see you next time have a great day Aria and I am continuing on the holiday decorating journey it is a journey I tell you today we're going to just keep going and decorating my TV stand as you can see as well as making a little few touches to my entryway and the rest of my main living space I hope that you find some decorating inspiration in today's video if you're decorating with me this weekend and I hope that you subscribe because I have lots more to share rug here but I need to get the little tapes up that are down on the floor um, but we're gonna move on from the rug and I want to show you what I've decided to do with my pillows this year um, so these pillows my green velvet pillow as well as these very soft and cozy Stuart plaid pillows are from Pottery Barn and they are on sale this weekend so if you're looking for some pillows this weekend um, when this is live this is still Black Friday weekend then definitely check these out because they're on sale. Of course, they were not on sale when I purchased them, but that's not the point. Um, I did most of this decorating over Thanksgiving morning while I was still making food, and then on Saturday after Thanksgiving to continue to get everything done. But I really love how this turned out, especially because I really wanted to bring in more green and not as much red as I typically do. And I just love, love, love these pillows. They're so comfy and cozy. classic tartan plaid as well as the Stuart plaid I also love green plaid I love plaid let's just let's just get that out the way I love plaid and I love these throws I actually have had these throws for a couple of years now and I got them not to actually ever use but I used to have a blanket ladder and so I, I got them for the blanket ladder but now you know I got rid of my blanket ladder because that's not my thing anymore but I still wanted to use these because I love how classic they are um, I got them from, I believe, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, like I said, a couple of years ago. I love, love, love them. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can't spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're around everything will be 
okay Cause all I wanna do is spend See, I'm still full on decorating So I still have all of my bins out And my things aren't looking so great But I got this wreath from Target this year I normally have a wreath that has a lot of red in it And I almost dropped it <laughs> Just there But I normally have a lot of red in my wreath But I really just I saw this wreath and I was like I think I really want this And now I want to say you have to fluff out your wreaths because when I first picked this wreath up and I put it on my door in my pantry, it did not look like this. So just make sure you take the time. It's just like a tree. Take the time to fluff it out and you can get a lot of bang for your buck. This wreath was $20 at Target. I will have everything linked below, of course, for you. For the past few years, Hearth and Hand has had something very similar to this. This is actually from Hearth and Hand. They did not bring one back this year, but I did see one at Kirkland's, um, a little bit more expensive, but I normally put that on top of this mirror. And now let's move on to this area over here, my side table. I got this candle, this Nutcracker candle, off of one of those like little things you see on like Good Morning America. Um, I just thought it was so cute and it was a really, really good price. So, and it smells so good. I think I got it in berry and balsam, which smells just like the one from Hearth and Hand, by the way. Now, moving on to my mantle, I found that I had this um, strand of cypress garland. And so I kind of laid that atop of my Norfolk pine garland. And I think it really helps to tie it together with the wreath. And then I have these lights from Costco. Those are my favorite lights to get. I will get another strand. I just didn't have it at the time, but I'll, I like to make it all light all the way up. And now let's move on back over to my entryway so I can get this space taken care of. As you can see, it was already a hot mess express, but we tuck everything away, all the cords, and then I'm gonna get everything cleared out and try to make this space come together. A lot of times when I'm decorating, I don't necessarily start off with the plan. I just kind of, it's all about winging it and seeing what I feel looks right. This tree I got last year from Studio McGee. They did not bring one back. They do have something similar though at Target, um, but I just love this with the woven one, with the woven um, basket. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes. If I had more of the stems that are from Hearth and Hand that I have on my coffee table, I would have loved to have used them over here. These stems are from Michael's a year or so ago, and I do like them, but they have like a glittery, frosty 
covering to them so they're kind of messy and I don't really love that so much but I am going to continue to work on my entryway table I cannot wait till I have a larger entryway space and I can have like a large console table I feel like that would be a little bit easier to try to style and decorate but for now we're going to work with what we have and I like how it turned out overall but I feel like something's still missing um so we'll see if I add anything more to it before I end up sharing my Christmas home tour. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. Please make sure you give me a like, comment down below if you're decorating this weekend, and also subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. We will be decorating the tree very soon, probably tomorrow. We'll see how that all works out together. You know, nobody wants to be on camera. So we'll see how it works. But I have so much more in store for you. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Let's have a jolly holiday